Good afternoon, Rick Collin here with AppReviews.com. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install 5M, the online mods for GTA 5. And when I say online mods, um, this is on a dedicated server. It's on a private server, private servers. They're all owned by the people that host them. This does not in any way affect the Grand Theft Auto 5 online gameplay or servers. So you're modding at your own risk, but this should not ban your account because this isn't really any different than modding in single player. You're not on any of Rockstar's servers. So first thing you're gonna wanna do to get started is you're gonna wanna make wanna make a new folder on your desktop. So just go to new folder. It's gonna be empty. Um, you can name it whatever you want, but I would just name it 5M or GTA 5 mods if it's your only mod. Um, so this is gonna be empty when you, when you do this. So you're gonna wanna open up your internet browser and just go to 5m.net and then you're going to want to click download now there are two um, versions there's the server and there's the client um, the server is what you want to use for hosting your own server if you just want to play the game don't I, I don't recommend getting into that uh, right away um, you're going to want to play the game first and mod GTA on your own before you start hosting servers and stuff like that because it does require a little bit of knowledge on modding the game itself. So you're going to just going to click on the download uh, client. It's going to download as a .exe. When it finishes downloading, you're going to want to put it in this um, folder right here because it's going to download all these files once you open this application is what's going to download. Once you click that, all these files are going to download. Um, and if you have them somewhere else, it's just going to download to wherever it's located. But when you put them in this folder, it's going to contain them all to the folder. The second thing you're going to want to download is the enhanced trainer. So you're just going to want to Google um, enhanced reborn trainer. It's going to be, let's see, it's going to be this one right here. Uh, the current release as of this video is update five. Um, so you're just going to want to do enhanced reborn.download right here, first one. When that downloads, you're going to want to create a plugin folder. Now, I remind you that these will all automatically download um, and place themselves here. So you're going to want to create a plugin folder and you're going to want to put the enhanced reborn.asi in here. And then there's going to be a .xml. You're going to want to just place that right in here. So no folder for that one. Once that's done, you're going to want to go up to the cache, go to game, and the ROS, actually no, not the ROS. Um, go back one. The game right here, you're going to go down to properties and make sure that this is not read only. So apply, OK. OK, so you're going to want to make sure all these are not read only, which I don't know why mine are because I've been playing, so they shouldn't be read only. But Make sure all those in the game folder are not read-only. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the 5M shortcut. It's going to um, it's going to come up and load some things up. There also might be a notification saying you need to update the game cache when it's installing those files. Just go ahead and click yes on that. And it does take a minute to open. Um, if you have it on Steam, by the way, it will open up and ask you where GTA.exe is located. So you're going to want to go to your folder here, um, go to your hard drive, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then GTA 5, and then select that folder, and it's going to install all the stuff it needs to there. But once it opens up, if you have other mods, that's fine, because this is going to install by itself. Um, I also have the Rage plugin hook mods for LSPFR, so that doesn't affect that, that they won't load up with this. Um, so if you if you have those you can have them both you don't have to uninstall one or the other so as you can see it's going to load up to this screen right here takes a minute to pull up but you get your multiplayer right up on the top here so here's all these servers for some reason my uh, there's a glitch on here where my mouse locks to the middle um, I don't know why but I just you can you can scroll up and down at the uh, scroll wheel. I've been playing on the American Life servers right here. Um, it says there's 26 to 24 people in there. I don't know 
how that is, but that's the one I've been playing on. And then to get out, I just have to control alt delete it because like I said, it gets the mouse locks to the middle for some reason. I don't know if that's just mine or if that's an issue with uh with 5M right now, but it is still in, in development, so it is kind of buggy. But other than that, it's pretty good. That's how you install it. I will link all the stuff down below that you need to download to install it. And once again, this is, is it is at your own risk, but they do say that it shouldn't affect your Rockstar account. This has been Colin with Reviews uh, .com. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more. I will be streaming some uh, gameplay of this later on.